These draws are getting a little old for the Chicago Fire. Fourth match that they get a result consecutively, but the problem is still without a victory. Kevin Egan and Dan Kelly with you. And because, again, fourth time this season, Kevin, they score first but don't get a victory, three points were there for the taking. There for the taking. <laughs> Mike McGee had a penalty with the last kick of the aim to win the game and just couldn't put it away. Incredible double save from Zach McMath. But what you saw today from the Chicago Fire was, was just an incredible heart towards the end of the game to never give up, to fight back and get that 2-2 draw and then have those chances at the end because there were several chances. That was an absolutely wild match. Uh, the last 10 minutes, I've never seen anything like it in all my life. End to end, there were players down injured. Nobody seemed to care. It was just play away and see who can get the winner. Uh, Frank Gallup, I think he'll take a lot of things from that game, a lot of positives. But what CJ Brown and Frank Gallup will both take is that two more goals were conceded in a very, very sloppy manner. That's nine for the season now that were all preventable, really. Uh, and going forward, that has to get better. The Chicago Fire need to be a lot meaner at the back. And the starts have been much better this year. And that trend, again, continued. Mike McGee in the 16th minute hits pay dirt. Yeah, look at the tenacity of Quincy Ameriqua. Picks the pocket of Akugo. Has a look up, picks out his strike partner, Mike McGee. Thank you very much. Back at the net. Chicago Fire one up. And McGee scores his first goal of the season. And then look at this for a soft goal. Strike from distance. Hits John Kennedy Hurtado. Baki Samari stops still. And that's just too easy. Maurice Adu, a quality player coming in from the Premier League, tucks it home. And then from bad to worse, great delivery from Leo Fernandez. Nobody gets a touch on the ball. You can't allow a ball bounce inside the six. That's what happened. The Chicago Fire bounced back. We look for someone to get their head on that cross. And it fell to Juan Luis Inongano. Baki Sumari got a touch. The goal has been credited to Big Baki. He seemed to get a touch as the ball was just crossing the line. Just to make sure of it, he did the right thing. And here's the penalty toward the end. Great run over the top from Juan Luis Inongano. Reckless from Aaron Wheeler. Referee Chris Penso points to the spot. Could Mike McGee put it away? The answer on this occasion was no. A fine, fantastic double save from Zach McMahon. Heroic goalkeeping from the big man. Prevents Mike McGee scoring a brace and the Chicago Fire picking up all three points. Yeah, not once but twice from Zach McMath. The possession numbers much better for the Chicago Fire. What else do you see? Much better. Look at that shot count though. 19 shots for the Chicago Fire. In terms of possession, they created all the best opportunities. Philadelphia would count themselves quite lucky to come away with a point. Next up, the battle's going to stay in the Eastern Conference for the Chicago Fire. They hit the road north of the border to face Frank Klopas, their former manager. Next Saturday, my 50. We'll have the coverage here, 3 p.m. The Chicago Fire and Montreal Impact this afternoon. The final 2-2 draw with Philadelphia.